forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. As always, let's go! I am delighted to be joined by the one and only CU Buffs head coach, Coach Prime. And before we start, Coach, I want to go back on something that I read that you said. Said you got to want it and you got to work it. And to win it, you got to take care of yourself. So in yeah. your own words, what does that mean? What does that mean? You got to take care of yourself. I said you got to, first of all, you got to want it, you got to work it. Then that puts you in position to win it. And you got to take care of you. What that means is um, how can you not bet on you? How can you not believe in you? How can you not have the want and the desire and the hunger and the thirst that you need to get to the next level? We all want something, but that comes with that want. It's a sacrifice. We can't just go into the mall and purchase some without paying a price. There's a price on everything we want in life. And I'm just crazy enough to, to, to understand that it costs and I'm going to do what I got to do to go get it. Now, so, speaking of doing what you got to do to go get it, I obviously, I mean, everyone knows about your a uh, whole idea of loving almonds. And you got to tell me, like, as a professional athlete myself, usually when it came to recovery, it was all about stretching and hydration. You got to tell me about this whole thing with California almonds. Well, I'm happy and I'm elated to have a, a second year of a wonderful relationship in the partnership. And you got to understand, man, I get up early. I'm like a 415 guy that gets up on the AM and I'm in and working out training. So by the time we get to practice, that's just like we practice. We on the field about nine or eight thirty. So that's like the second quarter of everything for me, like the second quarter in a game. So I go through, um, I've already worked out, I've already trained. So it's a wonderful recovery uh, when it helps me recover tremendously. But when I'm walking off the field, now now I'm, I'm kind of hungry again. I'm kind of <laughs> hungry. And I, and I got to eat right. I can't eat no junk because I'm trying to look right, man. We got the season yeah. about a couple of weeks. And I'm trying to look lean and mean, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. And it, it truly helps me look good and feel good. So I'm happy. So now, once again, with this whole thing with, with almonds, I've been doing a little research myself, and I didn't even know that almonds were a key part of a recovery. How have you taken that whole idea and kind of disseminated that to your coaching staff, but also your, your players' importance of hydration and recovery? Well, we, we're pretty good with hydration tremendously because, of uh, you know, it's hot out here when we practice. We like to stay in the heat so we guys could get that on but and as far as we got almonds everywhere man it's not something we endorse it's, it's it's a lifestyle so they have the propensity to reach out and just grab a bag here and there to keep them going so just like we would hand out hydration or water or whatever or gatorade or whatever we could hand out almonds as well so that yeah. truly helps us tremendously now when most people think about recovery they just only think about it from an athletic standpoint Right. But, but it seems like this is kind of a, a lifestyle for you yeah. and your players. Now, how does that translate to some of the, the individuals who are not professional athletes who want to take care of their health? Well, everybody should want to take care of themselves. And everyone should want to look good, feel good. I mean, and live good. Everyone, I don't know, I haven't met anybody that want to look good and feel good and live good. I, I'm sorry, I'm still looking for them. So <laughs> if you're one of those type persons, you want to try to emulate or imitate somebody you see as playing that role and playing that part. And uh, thank God that, that I care about all those attributes of life, not only looking good on the outside, but feeling good on the inside as well. So I want things to match. And uh, Almonds plays a wonderful part in helping me uh, simulate those two qualities. Now, as a coach and a player, I mean, you've gone to so many different places, seen so many different things. But, I mean, right now you're in Boulder, Colorado. What, what makes that place so special? Uh, it, it's a... Uh, I'm a want to be wanted type cat, man. You know, you show me a want, you show me a need, I'm going to try my best to fulfill it. If you show me you got everything, ain't no use for me. Thank God would never send me in a place like that. So I've always gone to desolate places. When I went in the NFL, I went to shoot Atlanta Falcons. I think they were 3-13 and 13 the year before I got there. And we slowly but surely got better and made it to the playoffs. Uh, when I went to 49ers, they just needed to get over that hump. They needed something to help them get over that hump to beat the Dallas Cowboys. And thank God I was there to give them that extra push. Now I go to Dallas. 
Dallas and they need to get over that hump, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to, you know, to, to beat the other opposing team. And I was able to help to do such. So I'm an, that's the kind of person I am. And I'm thankful that uh, I'm in this position. And I'm is tremendously playing a vital role in that, helping me help people. Now, I'm glad you brought up your, your NFL career because you are the type of guy that played both in the NFL and the MLB, and you did it at a high level. And most people didn't think that that was possible for you to do it. You got another guy in the building by the name of Travis Hunter, who right. is a very talented individual in his own right. Why is it that Travis continued to succeed in certain areas where certain people fail? as far as being that dual sport, dual type of player? Uh, well, first of all, Travis is a phenomenal athlete. Uh, Travis is a phenomenal person. Travis takes care of his, his body, he takes care of his mind, his mental preparation. Travis is not in the street and running around and hanging out all day. He's going home to his fiance, and it has a day for him. So he takes life serious, and then life takes him serious, and it's a wonderful combination. He's one of the best uh, athletes I've ever seen. We got another cat, Isaiah Harge, young uh, redshirt freshman that is going to play both ways as well. So we breed that. I did that. So I'm handing them the, the bag. I'm handing them the vision, yeah. the, the roadmap to go and uh, be dominant in those fields, and I'm happy to do such. Now, I mean, we, we all – walk in life and some walk in Christ. I, I'm, I'm a God-fearing man myself, but we all have trials and tribulation. We have adversity. Yeah. Like like for you as a coach, when you run into adversity, what is your go-to? How do you overcome that adversity? Well, a lot of people run into adversity and they stop. I keep going. I ain't got time for that. Like right. I keep going. I keep moving. And uh, I'm not a hunter and I don't kill. Uh, but I've known hunters and I understand how they get down. They say they, they're really accurate when the target is steel. And I'm not going to be a steel target for the enemy to shoot at me. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to always uh, progress. I'm going to always go to another level. I'm on the third quarter of life. I talked about the second quarter early on, but now I'm on the third quarter. It was prime time. It was prime. Now it's coach prime. And we still, <laughs> and we still winning. You're so, right. I mean, yeah. I'm a happy gentleman, and they cannot take the smile and this peace away from me that I have. Now, when you guys first came from Jackson State to Colorado, uh, I think I was one of the, the first individuals here in, in the Denver market who interviewed your son, uh, Bucky, and talked about okay. a lot of things that he did well off media. Yeah, man. I mean, there, there was a, a lot of excitement around you guys in that first act. So what is, what's going to happen now with Coach Prime and the CU Buffs in the second act? What does that look like? Uh, well, thank God we're not acting it. This is real. Uh, secondly, I love what I see, and I believe what I know. Um, these young men, as well as coaching and the staff, new staffers that we've uh, accumulated, understands this game, understands what's at stake, and understand the vision. And I can't wait. I think we're a little bit over two weeks away from kicking off our first game. And we're really, truly excited for people to see what we have in house. We really are. I'm excited to see uh, what happens. And, and before I wrap up, I want to circle back to, to the almonds thing. And we talk about the recovery and taking care of ourselves. So I'm a former 10 year vet. Now I'm going to ask you wow. with all the fa fa fascinating things that the almonds have done as far as recovery. You think that I can maybe consume an absorbent amount of almonds and maybe rekindle my NFL career. Is that <laughs> I, I don't know. They're a wonderful company, wonderful brand, and they do some wonderful things. I don't know if they can assume the responsibility of the founder of youth. I don't know <laughs> if they, they're that, that good. They're good, but I don't know if they're that good. <laughs> I don't think that they're that good uh, either. Uh, Coach Prom, thank you for giving me some of your time. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Uh, this season. It's, st it's still exciting to round the city of Denver. And I know people who live in Chicago, who live in Atlanta, who live in Florida, they didn't even go to see you. And they're just so excited the fact that you were in Boulder and want to know, man, so much things that you guys are going to do. So keep doing what you're doing. Once again, thank you for doing all that you do and inspiring so many, you know, minority kids and having them to believe that they can get to where you are and live out their dreams. So thank you for that. Well, I appreciate you. God bless you, my brother. You take care, man.